Uh, hello everyone, my name is Manuel Robles, better known as Manny Robles in, in, in boxing, in the boxing world. Uh, and I will teach you, I will use my technique, my own personal technique to wrap Carlos Castro's hand today, or hands today. Uh, Carlos is a uh, number one contender to the WBC and, and uh, the rest of the sanctioning bodies. He's one of, one of the top fighters in the world and uh, we're going to use Carlos to help me get that job, the job done today. So here's a special gauze that I like to use for the knuckles. This type of gauze, you can find it at a 99 cent store. It's very you know, convenient, it's, it's very good, it works very well for protection of the knuckles. And I, uh, you can't use it in the state of California, but you're able to use it in states like uh, 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 Nevada, Texas, or even New York, because as you know, every, uh, every uh, state athletic commission, they all have their own particular rules. So in California, you're not allowed to, but you are allowed, like I said, in other states. So let's, let's pretend we're in Texas or in New York or out there somewhere. So what I start by doing is go around one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going around it six times, why? Because it all depends on the fighter that I'm working with and the size of their hand. Sometimes, as you know, I, I, could, be working, I could be working with a super heavyweight and when, and when I'm doing that, obviously I can't, you need more padding for their knuckles. So here's my gauze, here's the, the uh, Mexican style gauze that I, look, that I like to use myself. Everybody, you know, uh, different coaches out there like to use different type of gauze. I particularly like this one. It, it fits very good on the hand and the fighters feel comfortable with it, but uh, it's a matter of choice. And uh, my choice is to use this one. All right, so here we go. And I start by making a hole on the, on the, tip, of the, uh, the tip of the hand wrap, put it in through the knuckle. Come around one, two, three, four. Come around the, the, the thumb once, twice. One, around the knuckles, two. And as you all know, this is to protect the fighter's hand. How tight? How tight? It depends on the fighter. It, de it depends on how the fighter likes it. Some fighters like it rather loose. Some fighters like it extremely tight, believe it or not. So. You, as I'm rapping, I will be asking the fighter, or, or the boxer in this case, uh, the, the boxer how he feels, if he wants it tighter, if he wants it more loose, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's for him. It's not for me, and, and I gotta make sure that I protect the sand, and he feels comfortable and secure. Close your hand, close your knuckle. How's that right there? Then, open, please. So this goes directly over the knuckles. Lock your hand. Like I said, everybody has their own particular style. This is my own way of wrapping hands. And I don't mind sharing this with, with people because a lot, of, a lot of coaches out there don't like to obviously share their knowledge because this is how they make money. This is how I make money, but obviously I don't mind sharing this with the world because that's what you're so, I feel that this is that it's what you're supposed to do, period. So here we go, as you can see, going around the, the wrist, the knuckles. I, a lot of, this is my own personal way of wrapping hands. I go through the, I go, I, as you can see, open your hand please. I go through the knuckles, through the fingers, come around. Through again, and this, and I do this particularly. A lot, a lot of people obviously don't do this, but I do this myself to secure the the the, the padding on the on the on the hand. Does that feel good? Yes. How's that so far? Good. Yeah. Tighter, looser. Good. good. Very good. Excellent. Come around the knuckle. Twist. Around the knuckles. Twist again. Twist again. Run the wrist. Okay. 
And again, as we all know, we, we wrap hands, and, and this is a very delicate uh, um, procedure. Why? Because if you don't do a good job, fighters might end up breaking their hands, or you know, and this is how they make the this is how they make their money. So these are their money makers. So you got to protect their, make sure that you are protecting their hands properly. They want to go into the ring with confidence, knowing that uh, that their hands, that their tools, these are their tools, that their hands are properly taken care of. And we got war tape. This is very nice tape, by the way. WBC war tape. And uh, to me, I consider it be war tape to be the best, the best tape out there. I mean, uh, I don't think there's anything better out there than, than, than war tape, particularly in my opinion. I've been using it since day one. And I wouldn't have any other tape, to be honest with you. You know, to be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't use anything else. So you come around. So here we go. So first, in some places, what you can do is pre-wrap, gauze, pre and, and, and then tape, gauze, and then tape again. But in the state of California, you have to use gauze and then tape on top of the gauze. No pre-wrap. You see me go, coming around the, 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 the wrist? One, two, three, four, five, around the knuckles. I'm sorry, the thumb. One. Two, work my way up, as you can see. So what I, I have my own particular technique. Close your hand, Close, there, thank you, make a fist. So you have to be an inch and a half away from the knuckles. So as you can see, that's about an inch and a half here. And no, and no closer because you can't put tape directly on the, over the knuckles. Cut. Now I'm gonna go one, two, three strips, a few inches long. Turn it, please. Cut. Come around. Why do? I, why am I doing what I'm doing right now? Close your hand. How does that? Does that feel pretty, pretty comfortable with you, right? The, the, and this is the reason why I put tape here to close it. This way you can open and close your hand freely, right? And feel comfortable. So it's, it's all about comfort. Close. I like to spin my tape a few times. Hold it with my thumb, hold, hold the padding down. I'll do it myself. Put it down and then pull. Is that, how's that right there? Not too tight? So as you can see, some boxers like it tighter, no, some like boxers it. don't, you know? It's up to the individual. So there's no one way. Close it, please. Here we go. Open. This takes a little bit of time. It takes me about 20 minutes to wrap each hand. I like to take my time and I like to make sure that the fighter feels good, confident. 
before we put on the, throw on the fight gloves. So here we go. So you can see there's a tape on the, on the knuckles. One strip, three strips, and Here, my, pro my pr next procedure is to stack, stack the hand with tape. Henry Tillman, Henry Tillman. Sorry people for the noise, that's Henry Tillman showing up at his motorcycle, his Harley. How's that? Good. Then I come and cross the tape. As you can see. Come the other way. How's that feel, kid? Feels good? All right. And here's the finishing touch. Lock it. Lock it for me. Open, please. How's that feel, Carlos? Yeah. Feels good? Yeah. Did I pass the test? Yes, sir. Yes? I hope. <laughs> what I'm doing now is to cut the tape here at the end to try to give your, your hand a little bit of Freedom, freedom, you know what I mean? And, and you, so you can move it. Open and close. Trim it. What you try to do is, obviously this has got your name on it, so you wanna be able to do the best job possible and make it look nice and neat. Make it look professional, but the most important thing is for the fighter once again to feel good, secure, and to know that when he steps into, into that ring to do battle, he doesn't have to worry about his hands. Yeah, just worry about the opponent in the fight. These are taken care of already. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. For those of us that live here in the state of California that, that have fights here in the state of California, what I consider the, the, the real boxing capital of the world. Um, it is. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and a lot of us, obviously, we work here in California. We have fights here in California. So this is, what I'm going to show you now is what's permitted in the state of California. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to start with pre-wrap. You, you might end up going to Mexico or end up going to Europe. And this is what, what they would allow South America. Pre-wrap. Tape, gauze, and tape again. Okay? So, as you can see, this used to be permitted in California, but no longer is. I don't know why, but it's not. Is that a different material? Pardon me? Yes, it is. It's, it's just uh, a lot of athletes use this to use it on, on their hands, their knuckles, for, you know, and then put tape over it. And that's what we use, we use in boxing as well. But like I said, it just depends on what part of the world you find yourself in, what part of the country you find yourself in here in the U.S., where they will allow you to use pre-wrap. Again, unfortunately, just like the other padding that I showed you on the first hand, they won't allow you to use pre-wrap in the state of California. So now I'm moving on with the tape. 
pre-wrap tape. I like to make sure that the wrist is taken care of. So as you can see, I'm going a little bit high on this one. How's that feel, Carlos? Good? Yeah. Right? If I find myself in Mexico, this is what I would be doing in Mexico. And obviously, it's not going o uh, over the knuckle, as you can see. Close your hand. Right? No knuckle. And, and I always work with the commission. So as I'm wrapping hands, I will always ask, is this okay? Is this not okay? Do you approve this? Do you approve of this? Do you not approve this? Because you want to be safe and, and you, you don't want to be doing anything that's illegal because I wouldn't. <laughs> and I would never do that. So I always work with the commissions and ask questions. Is, are you okay with this? Are you not? When you're working world title fights, you allow someone from the other, com the other camp to come in and, and uh, check the hand wrapping and make sure that, uh, that we're all on the same page and that we're not doing anything we're not supposed to. This particular gospel, what I'm doing is, like most people do, use the goss, pretty much the entire goss. And work on my padding. So you can see I'm um, working my way down. Work my way up again. You don't want to make it too big, too, too thick, because you got to remember you're, you're using eight ounce gloves. And if you make it too, too big, too wide, <laughs> the hand's not going to go in the glove. You're going to be battling it to, to try to get the hand in that glove. And in most cases, good luck with that. You live and you learn. Can't say it's never happened to me, but you try to prevent that from happening, okay? So here we go, fold, hold it. it, takes a lot of practice to learn a maneuver, the gauze, the tape, the padding, let's move it around. Make sure it's protecting the knuckles. It's directly over the knuckles as it should be. Come around. Make it tight. Nice and fit it. Please. There we go. Around the knuckles. Knuckles. Tight. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. Again. In between the fingers, like I did the first time. Like I said, this is my own particular style. Do it with the gauze and then do it with the tape. Lock it. How's that, kid? Yeah. Good?
And at the end, you're going to tell me which one feels better, right? Because they're both, they're both different. They're not the same. I don't understand. And before, in the old days, they, in the state of California, they did allow, like I said, the, 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 uh, the pre-wrap and tape and then gauze and then tape again, but that changed. I don't understand why, but it did. And you have to go by the rules. You have to obey the rules, the rules. So if, if, if this is what they want, this is what you do. One of the best commissions in the world, California State Athletic Commission. There we go. Again. As you can see, I already put tape one time. This is my second time, but what I'm doing is the second time around, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put as much tape as I did the first time, because you don't need that much tape, and all you need is one row. And that's all that's permitted is one row. One roll of tape, two gauze. No, for, uh, for training you can, absolutely you can for, for, for training and for fighting, but it just depends. I mean, you know, some, some, um, in some cases the fighters wrap their own hands when they come to the gym. And, you know, they don't particularly use gauze and tape. You know, if re regular hand wraps, Mexican style hand wraps, the, the Everlast hand wraps, uh, you know, it just depends on, you know, they use different types of padding. Sometimes it's, uh, close it, oh, open please. Sometimes the padding is a little different from what we're using now. But again, all of that is just used to protect, to protect their tools. It's just like going to work, right? You gotta take care of those tools. Turn it, please. Turn it again. Check, access, turn it. What I'm doing, as you can see, what I'm doing with the tape is I'm twisting it. In some, in some places, they'll allow me to twist it. Some places, they won't. Most of the time, they do, though. But if, if they tell me, hey, you can't do it, then you can't do it. I'm not gonna sit, stand there and argue with the guys. Huh? It's not the end of the world. Here we go. How's that feeling? Feeling pretty good? Yes. Okay, that's as far as I'm going right there. And this is the last, well, the last of my tape. But when you know, you know. And uh, this enough to cover the entire hand and to finish the job. Just gotta, it come, I guess it just comes with the, it comes with experience, you know, it just comes with wrapping hands for so many years and I wrap, you know, pretty much every day that I know 
how much tape to put on and um, and how to make the most out of it, you know? Use it properly. Close it. Because in a fight, during, uh, during the time when you're wrapping hands, you better be efficient Learn to be efficient and learn to um, use the tape properly, the gauze properly, because if you don't, you're in trouble. Because they won't allow you to use any more tape, but that one row. Look at that. How's that? Here, let me see that hand. Turn it, please. Let the fist. Hide the, the excess underneath. Careful you don't cut the fighter's hand. <laughs> Thank God it's never happened to me. Can you imagine? <laughs> Start screaming out. No. And I cut your hand the night of the fight. <laughs> That's not going to happen ever. How's that? Good. Good. Excellent. So, as you can see, we're done with both hands. How do they feel? Good. Feel pretty good? You feel different between one and the other? Yes, actually, this one feels more secure. More secure? I want to say, yes. Yeah, there you go. And I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just the fact that I'm protecting your hand. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? More secure, more stable. And this right. one's a little looser, I want to uh -huh. say, because of the... The amount of tape and gauze that I yes. put out that I'm permitted to use. To use. Here I'm... Uh, it's, there's no difference. I'm using the same amount of gauze and tape, but the difference is... Pre-wrap, yes, the difference is, and I could use gauze. I'm using pre-wrap, but yeah. I could use gauze as a pre-wrap. Like I said, gauze, tape, gauze, tape. Yeah. Here is gauze, tape. Yeah. And this is what's left of the row, by the way. So you just have to know what you're doing. And, and practice makes perfect. For those, those of you out there that, that want to get better at wrapping hands, don't wait till the day of the fight to start wrapping a fighter's hands. Practice, practice at the gym. I'm telling you, one roll is all you need. Here we go. Pretty good, right? Do you think you feel like you feel like you need any more tape? No. There it is. Thank you very much for having me.